go. LGD. They've got the eye, they've got the tiny. They follow up with the Lena, the Magnus, and the Spirit Breaker. They bring the bristle back, the Leshrac, the Clockwork, and the Witch Doctor, and the good old Puppy Enigma. Let's see what we've got in store for this game as we get this set up and done. Let me get that out the way, ladies and gentlemen. Once more, I apologize for the lack of casting during the draft. We are having issues. This is the first time I have used a Zubu to stream. Hopefully, you guys on the ticket can hear us as well. And we should be just about good to go. Uh, Winter, have you managed to get yourself back in yet? That's all right. That's all right. You're not missing anything at the moment. <laughs> We're just starting off. It looks like both teams aren't going to run into each other at level one. We've got LGD kind of focusing around the top rune, not at the side of secret. They're looking for this bottom one. A nice little bit of cheeky warning, then, though, done by Yao. He's managed to get himself out. He's got himself an observer ward down here. The sentry ward as well, very sneakily placed. So, good bit of work there from the old Spirit Breaker. And it doesn't look like the side of secret are going to be aware of this straight away. No one's brought out any sentries at least to deal with that aggressive warding from the off lane. So, anyway, are you, are you back yet, see, uh, Winter? What? Winter? <laughs> no, Winter, please, we need you. We need you, Winter. Okay, it's... it's... <laughs> the battle begins. Come on, Winter. We need you. We need you for this game. Right. Anyway, I'll introduce the teams while I should fix it, Winter, because we're, we're going to need you in this one. So work, work your magic. Do, do, pull some spells or something. You can do it. Anyway, on the side of Secret, we're going to be having Zai, of course, on the off lane. He's going to be on his clockwork this game. It's going to be S4 on the mid lane. Bristleback. Very nice. I like it. Puppy's going to be in the jungle. Enigma, you're going to have Arteezy on that position. One less track. And finally, Kuroki himself. On that solo lane support, Witch Doctor over on the side of LGD. You're going to have Yao on his off-lane Spirit Breaker. It's going to be Zhao A on the Lena. Very nice, very nice. Heading down to the bottom lane there to join Yao. It's going to be maybe, of course, on the mid lane on his Magnus. MMY on the support IO. And that, of course, is going to leave Young Silo on that position one tiny here in the safe lane. So... Let's have a look how this one goes down. Obviously, both sides, both, both teams got direct invites, of course, to TI, like I believe every single other team that's in this, apart from eHome and CDEC, I want to say. Those are the teams that work themselves uh, through the qualifiers. But even so, we should uh, expect to see some high-caliber Dota 2 here, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, see what these two teams can bring to the playing field. A minute in, obviously no first blood yet. Everyone playing pretty safely. S4 has got the close back up. Of Puppy here, just in the jungle, doing what he does on the old Enigma. Let's hope we see some very, very tasty black holes if you're a secret fan today. And of course, for the side of LGD, they've got the tiny IO. And uh, I don't think there's ever a situation where you can be scared. Uh, be not scared, sorry, the tiny IO, because the Jesus, that, that combination has the potential to win many a few games. Winter, have you made it back in yet? Yeah, they did this the last game as well. They they had a clock and sky off to pressure the enemy off lane. And this game they're doing a spirit breaker and Lena on the off lane for LGD, which worked really well for them the last game. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, yes. And I mean, so the, yeah, the last game of course was when they played against Narvi. Yeah, you were casting that one with with uh, Toffees, weren't you? Yeah, I was with yeah. Toffees, and they they had a huge lead from the early game just because the aggressive dual lane went really well for them. Yeah, I mean, in that game, what, did, what went wrong with Finavi in that match? Was it was it the draft? I mean, I heard people saying that they felt the draft was very balanced. Was it just, do you think the fact that they were a player down kind of hit them pretty hard? Yeah, there, there were a lot of moments where I felt that communication was a problem. The Undying didn't, yeah. he was, yeah. LT wasn't like on the same page with his team. It was kind of difficult for them to play. They had a really good start though in the laning phase, but unfortunately, a few couple of team fights which didn't go well for them because of, I would say like, Undying wasn't on the same page with his team and it cost them yeah. the early game. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I believe because yeah, it was with the Jakira as well. People saying that the combo didn't work out as well as it should have. But as you said, when the communication issues are there, it's always going to be very, very hard. Indeed, mid lane, hello. Maybe. He's going to skew S4 back, but <laughs> S4 is going to take the first blood there. That, that's uh, Things working out very nicely for this bristle back mid lane. And I wanted to actually talk to you about that one, Winter. Obviously not the position we expect to see the hero in. You know, he kind of started off as everyone was putting him on the off lane. Nowadays, we see him more in a position one. S4 picking him up in the mid lane. I mean, why? why why is that? Is it kind of a very situational pick that he's picked directly against the Magnus? Oh, bottom lane, they're gonna go in. Oh, yeah. 
Indeed, they are diving the tower here. Yeah, sitting on six HPs. Look for the aggressive charge back. The best defense is offense, but not in this case. He's going to go down. Now, look at Jai as well. Arteezy with a slow. Arteezy going in, going hard. Takes down the Lena as well. So, well, 3 0 to the side of Secret. Things are going very, very well indeed. And I think we can have a bit of a calm before the storm. So, yeah, Winter, talk to me about the Bristol back mid lane. It's mostly done uh, when the enemy picks Io plus Honey because okay. it's one of the few heroes that can go one versus two against that lane and does and he will be able to do very well plus a lot of farm in the lane as well plus a little of kill potential so and in this particular game it was he does really well against Magnus as well so do, it doesn't matter who LGD sends like the Mag or the Wiz Honey Bristleback is gonna get a lot of farm from the lane itself. Yeah, and I guess, yeah, looking at the draft, in fact, as you said, it's it's a very nice lineup for Secret to have against Tiny Eye. Top lane, though, Zai might be in trouble if they're going to go straight in LGD and with the rotation in from Zhao as well, helping out yeah. coming across from the pool camp. Very nice pick off there onto the clock. They realize the uh, dual off lane is not working too well after the two deaths, and the Lina had to move back towards the safe lane to make sure at least they get something going there. And Secret. From the laning phase, I would say they have uh, they have come out on top by a huge margin because they have a jungling hero, which is the Enigma, and they won their bottom lane as well. So early game, I, I would say Secret is coming a huge amount on top with the yeah. back getting a kill there as well. Yeah, absolutely. It's looking pretty scary for LGD. And, and the fact as well that Secret, they're winning their lanes. And of course, they do also have this Enigma in the jungle. So, it's, so far, it's looking it's scary, scary for LGD. Yeah. yeah, it's really scary when you have Enigma jungle and you're winning the lanes with a jungling Enigma. Yes. That's like super fantastic for you. Then Enigma will be a key, key factor against the relocate with the black hole. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's the thing, actually. Talking about the kind of the, the relocate ganks, who do LGD look to pick off? Obviously, a Bristleback is going to be a pretty hard target to bring down Clockwork. He's got the cogs, the hook shots to spider man out of there. Um, and bottom lane, I mean, these guys are going to be pretty farmed because Arteezy and Kuroki looking for another kill. They won't be able to quite burst down the Spirit Breaker. But yeah, how are the kind of the relocates going to come into play this game, do you think, Winter? Um, they're going to try and obviously initiate with either the charge or the yes. RP. But Secret have a lot of tools. They have the bouncing cast from the Witch Doctor. They have the hookshot and the black hole. So it wouldn't be easy to find a good opening for LGD to just go in and have a relocate in because Secret have a lot of backup against the relocate. So it won't be easy. It's going to be a very, very depending on positioning and stuff, whether you have ward scouting the positions of the Enigma especially, because if you relocate in and you don't see the Enigma, things could go wrong. Mid lane, they're going to expend the RP here, trying to catch out S4, but he's just so damn tanky here. Three points in the bristle bat passive. He might even be able to ward this one off. Xiao A coming for the rotation as well. There'll be a charge coming through. It won't be needed as the shockwave there from maybe. We'll finish off the bristle back. The charge is now going to get realigned onto Kuroki. Light strike ray is going to miss though because of the bashes. It doesn't matter though because double kill goes the way of Magnus as he finds that one the shockwave. Now Poppy with the black hole onto two, getting a double kill there for RTZ. It ends up being a two for two trade and secret. Very nicely turning around what looked to be a very good play for LGD. Yeah, that first black hole netting them two key kills there, and it's going to speed up the mech on the Enigma by a huge margin as well. So that was not a very good first RP for them. It didn't end well, and but there was still no real okay for that fight, so there wasn't the plus two there coming in to help. Yeah, absolutely. I guess, yeah, once the level 6 is hit by uh, the good old MMY, maybe those fights will look to take a bit of a different turn, favouring the side of LGD. But at the moment, 5 for 3 on the board. The farm's still looking very, very nice for the side of LGD. The fact, you, sorry, secret, the fact you've got RTZ here on the safe lane, Lesh, he's having an absolute game. Three kills, one assist, seven minutes in. Uh, he's got 43 CS, seven minutes. I don't think he's missed a single creep. This is, I mean, RTZ, he's, he's having a fantastic start this match. Yeah, this game it will be really key on the Ancients though because both sides have very good lineups to contest and farm a lot of Ancients so they have to make sure they get a sentry. If you're LGD you want a sentry off the Ancients yeah. of uh, Secret and if you're Secret you want to stop the IO Tiny plus the Empower of course being able to just get a lot of uh, economical advantage from the Ancients itself. So it will be highly contested I think in this game. Yeah, I mean, so in the mid lane with this Magnus and, uh, of course, the Brisbane, maybe he is closing in on his Blink Dagger. He's got 1,700 gold, seven and a half minutes in, which, you know, isn't bad growth at all for the Magnus. And in terms of CS, he's been doing pretty well. 40 for five against the 39 for seven. Obviously, the Shockwave yeah, spam um, helping him out. But oh. he's going to hook shot. Oh, indeed, Zai there with the rotation, catching Yao right off with the follow-up split earth, the lightning storm coming down. It's going to be more than enough damage. And again, Secret just on top with rotations. Yeah. And as you said, Zai making the best movement there. 
that was a really good play because Zai was yeah. he was level five and he was off the map. So if you are LGD, you're constantly checking the levels of the heroes, and you're like, Clockwork is level five and missing. So you're <laughs> obviously you're gonna play like okay, if I'm not in danger, but he was hiding in the trees. He was just one experience of like level six, and he got the experience, and obviously the bar speed breaker didn't realize. So, and he got killed there. No, indeed. Looks like off the back of this as well. Zai with the double damage, Puffy with the pushing power. They will be able to take themselves down this tier one on the bottom lane. So the momentum sent against the secret. And of course, with the fact that Clockwork left the top, allowed Kuroki to get himself a few levels, working his way towards that level six, trying to get that death ward on line. And what well, interesting love, S4's actually come up here as well on the Bristol back. So they've left the mid lane kind of uncontested for the time being. And I mean, well, how come they've moved the Bristol up here? Is he going to look potentially for some kills? It's not going to be easy to kill him though because he had a very mm. good start and he's probably going to use his current goal to get a vi I think vitality booster okay. so it will make him a lot more tankier because Puppy is going to take care of the mech so yeah so Bristleback can go directly into the vanguard yeah, I mean, if we're just looking at secret side, the wombo combo in the team fights is going to be yeah. pretty insane. You land a black it's... hole, the quill spray stacking up, the death ward, the maledict going down on everyone, and then Leshrac with the follow-up split earth. It's, it's going to be hard for LGD to fight into. It's a draft that's built to combat relocate. Relocate yes. is like, yeah. it's not a good game to just relocate. Usually you're like, oh, I have relocate, I want to use it. But this game, you're like, I have relocate, but I don't really want to use it. I want to use it sparingly, maybe more defensively to just to bail your teammate out. Indeed, and we're going to see actually a smoke here from LGD, both Maybe and Xiao Ai heading into the Radiant Jungle. Oh, there's no one here at the moment, Puppy. He's on the Enigma just around here, down the cliff. Is they able to catch him out? Let's have a look if Maybe can find him. He has got this Blink Dagger, so this will be the first reveal of the Blink Initiation from Magnus. Maybe if he can catch two, oh, he's only going to catch one. He's going to be able to bring Puppy back in, but the Light Striker Ray misses, and now Puppy gets the Black Hole onto two. There's going to be a Cogs on the boat, but now Silar might MOY coming in with a relocate. They've killed Puppy. They will be able to bring down Zai. It's going to be a double kill for Xiao. Looks like Kuroki's going to be in trouble as well. No, he's going to pop the stick charge. He's keeping himself alive. The Bounce is coming out. The Lightning Storm holding LGD back, and now Secret the Trial. To turn it down out, they take down the spirit breaker. And it does end up being a two for one. I gotta be honest though, Winter, it looked like it'd go a hell of a lot worse for the side of LGD, but the fact that that relocate was there allowed them to get that double kill because they're messing up these light strike array combos every time. It was actually even better that they actually let the Enigma because if Puppy didn't get the black hole there, Secret will probably think that oh we can't fight this, we have to back yes. off because they got the black hole off and they tried to fight but in the end LGD were still they had like a more of like a global lineup, right? Because Spirit Breaker can reach anywhere from the map and obviously that's a relocate. So there was five heroes there and Secret couldn't reinforce fast enough so they so they still came out taking a bad trade, a two for one, right? That fight. Yes, it was indeed, yeah, both the clock and, and the Enigma going down. Yeah, they expanded the black hole as well, so that was, in the end, a very, very good trade for LGD. Absolutely, yeah, definitely one of the best fights we've seen from them so far this game. Again, Silo involved in the action as well. He's going to be happy with that. Avalanche and Toss here onto S4. S4 throwing out the goo here, trying to keep the tiny well and truly back. MMY has now turned up. But there's three heroes at the moment on the side of Secret, pressurizing this top lane. Puppy, Kuroki, and S4. And Kuroki, of course, does now have level 6. Has got that death ward. So Secret, they might be ready to stick around here, might be ready to look for a fight. Yeah, they're still really strong in team fight right now, even though they expanded the black hole before, but because how far Bristleback is and with the death fall online, they definitely can still take a fight when RP is still down for another 10 seconds. It's going to come back up very soon and there's a haste rune on maybe. So this could be tricky. Well, let's see what they can do at the same time. Zai is smoked up here, heading towards the top lane, so there's the potential to see a very big engagement. But I think the most key points to mention is, of course, Puppy doesn't have that black hole for this fight. Still uh, down after being used there in that bad little fight for Secret in their own jungle. Zai scanning out with a flare now, the blink forward, and very nice there. Maybe he's being able to secure back Zai, and they bursted him down before he could do anything. S4 now with the gun to Jow, Lightning Storm coming for as well. And now the follow up, a split earth there, will enable them to find the return kill on Talina. Now, charge from Yao onto Arteezy. Can they bring down Artis? He's fairly tanky here on this left track. There's going to be a toss as well. It's just not enough damage. There's your RP though. Catching Kuroki, Puppy, and Artis. But there's just not enough follow up damage. With the Voodoo Restoration and the fact that S4 is just going ham on the back lines of this fight, LGG just can't fight. It's always going to be a double kill for S4. It is a four for one trade. And Winter, I mean, Secret's team fight at this point, even with LGD getting a three man RP, it's just too much for the side of the LGD. Yeah, they didn't manage to follow up the RP with, like you mentioned, the combo, the light strike array into 
the other the other stun, which is the avalanche. They didn't manage to chain their spells together, and there was also one thing that uh, we didn't really talk about, which is secret having a mech and LGD not having a mech. That was also a key factor in that fight. And now Secret just making the most of it. They're going to try and look to take down this tier one in the mid lane. 13 minutes in. Let's have a look at the hero's net worth. How's it doing? Yeah, 7.5k at the moment on RTZ. He's coming up to, well, he's over 2,000 ahead of the position one on Tiny. Maybe even more now as he's trying to go in here with the Lightning Storm and the Death Ward as well to Xiao Wei. That's going to be another kill here for the Letra. They're going to look for Yao as well. They will find it there with the help of Zai coming in with a hook shot. Another two kills for the side as Secret. And uh, it just looks like they're up in the tempo of this game, and LGD, they're just not ready for it at this point. Yeah, the, the tempo of the game is too quick for LGD, and right now what LGD can do is they can only try and rat and speed push and use the Magnus Shockwave plus the Dragon Slave from Alina to try and stall time. You very rarely see LGD get stuck into those type of situations where they have to speed push. Yeah. It's, it's looking a bit tricky for them here. So top lane, Syla does TP in. He's got Xiao Wei here as well. Four heroes on the side of Secret, though, are in the jungle. And they might be ready to fight here. S4 laying down the goo here onto the Lina. Rocket Flare coming out as well. Zai doesn't have the hookshot here for 25 seconds. The Cast coming out, bouncing onto the Lina. And look at the damage coming out from S4. There's going to be a killing spree for the Bristleback. They're going to look to try and take down Syla as well. And Solo Black Hole just holding the Tiny in place. They want Syla. They will find him. Yao's actually ended himself in the Black Hole as well. He's trying to walk away, but S4 has already got the stacks onto him. There will be a relocate out protecting the spirit breaker they did manage to take down the clockwork but they're gonna lose a tier two here potentially a fortification will come out maybe is in the sidelines he does have the rp available here kuroki just trying to keep him right back and well mmy will find this ever across now maybe blinks for we'll get the score to kuroki can they bring down the witch doctor they can they will find the kill down to kuroki so nicely played there by lgd but they will lose this tier two here and, uh, oh, well, wow, secret. I mean, do they go for more here, Winter? It looks like they might do with the Lightning Storm slow onto three. Now the goo coming out of the Magnus. He will be able to blink himself away. The split off is going to catch Xiao here on the Spirit Breaker. He's being healed up by MMY. Is it enough? It looks like it is. MMY now allowing him to have enough sustenance to get up to the high ground. And now, well, like, oh, it's easy just throwing out these Lightning Storms. It's, it's an absolute nightmare to play against. LGT, they have all returned into the top lane. They really want to fight here with the Avalanche and toss onto S4, but he's going to get Glimmer Cape Tail. Now just turn back around. Zai with the hookshot straight on to maybe. Maybe we'll find the skill onto Zai. Bring him away for the rest of the team. Laguna Blade going out to the clock as well. They do bring down Zai here on the clockwork. S4, those on the front lines. He wants to go straight into space here, getting the hit onto the tower. Yao and Xiao Wei contemplating where they can go in. They're going to just throw out the Dragon Slave here onto the Bristleback. But secret, they're just standing on the high ground. Even though they're trading kills, they're just still able to push and, and, and they just don't need to back up. Yeah, they are just so far ahead just from the early game and having so much more items and the Bristol back just can't be killed. Just look yeah. at it, he's gonna take so much damage and Glimmer Cape is gonna be there all the time to save him. It's just a, I think Glimmer Cape is a really good choice here by the Lash Rock in this situation so they can actually finish the game faster. It's a really good item in the scenario that happened against what LGD has which is mostly burst damage from spells right now. Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah, talking about the Glimmer Cape, Mr. Arteezy. He's got 15 Bloodstone charges, 16 minutes, and that, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, he had a very, very good like game after he got the Bloodstone, got a lot of kills, and his team was winning majority of the team fight. So right now, LGD just needs a lot more time for before the Tiny is ready to even try and take a fight. He hasn't even completed his axe yet. Usually at 16 to 17 minutes or 18, you have the axe completed but he's not even anywhere near there. Yeah, I mean, I guess, uh, obviously, sometimes we see the Tiny kind of skip out, uh, even the, tre the, the drums in particular. I guess, did he pick them up this game because he realised he was being forced into these early fights and he just felt he needed something that was going to help him when he turns up to them? Oh, hang on, RTZ's going to go out here by Solo RP with the Lugu and the Blade, Lystrak, right? everything being thrown out onto the Lystrak. They do find a kill. The Chaos coming out, bouncing between Yao and maybe. Now, s is trying to take Lina down. We'll be able to find it there with a the Rocket Flare before Xiao A is able to TP out. So it does end up being a one-for-one, -one, but uh, LG you're going to be happy there finding a kill onto RTZ who is yet to die this game. Yep. But too bad he's already out because so yes, many blood on yeah. charges. <laughs> Literally was back alive yes, before he died. Let's relocate. They have relocated. He's alone. Oh, yeah. RTZ. Well, that's going to cancel the charge here. 
A uh, little bit scared, obviously, of that split of stun coming for it now with Puffy rotating in the midnight. Pulse going to get laid down. Yeah, we'll get four staff to wait here. RT is trying to chase this one down here with the Glimmer Cape. He's going to look for the stun again, and they will have enough damage here to bring down the Spirit Breaker. That is going to be another kill there for the side of Secret. Zai has turned up as well. He's 20 seconds away from that hook shot top lane. Sila just trying to continue to find this farm. He has got 1,300 on top of the point booster, but he could be in trouble now. Puppy trying to close in onto the gap here. And here we go with the Malefist onto Sila. Rotation from the side. He's going to be able to walk in with the walking cogs. No, that's going to oh, be the relocate. Out. That was but close. I th yeah, I, I think I was in trouble there, isn't he, Winter? He almost cancelled the relocate with the Cox. That, that was a really nice play from the Cockwork. Oh, look. Oh, no. no. Uh, yeah, man, why? He's, he's not going to know where to go. He's going to go down there on the top lane. 90 to 10 at the moment. But uh, what's going to happen in mid lane? S4 just laying down the goo. He's got the backup of the rest of the team rotating in from the side lanes. He literally doesn't care. With the Glimmer Cape on yeah. RTZ, he can just go very aggressive and just get Glimmer Cape and get out. I mean, let's have a look at the graphs. Uh, what are we seeing? It's coming to 10k XP difference, coming to 12k in terms of net worth as well. Doesn't sound like the biggest of differences, but you got to remember, we're only 18 minutes into this game. It's still very early days. And Secret finding and a lot of momentum. Even if they land a very good RP on two or three heroes, I'm not even sure if they can win the fight. I mean, that's, that's, that is indeed the issue, you know, with the mechs, with the Voodoo Restoration, with the Guardian Greaves. You know, it's it's just so hard for the side of LGZ. They're going to try it, though, here with the Never Strike on Tartizzi, trying to bring it back to the fight. But the Crimson Guard's been popped as well. Secret have literally got everything to fight with in this fight. Now they're looking for an RP. They'll find it on Tartizzi, but the Skew only catches S4. A very cheeky hook shot there coming in from Zai. The Death One's been laid down as well. Now with the Black Hole onto MMY and Sila. It's going to be a two for one. There's a buyback here from the Magnus. Double kill for the Kuroki. But this was Side of Secret just going to stand there, ground. Look to finish off these racks, maybe seeing if you can find anything. Charge onto S4, but it's going to get cancelled by the Malefist. And now with the split off as well, they're turning it around onto Yao. He can't run away from this one. It's a double kill for S4 here on the Bristle back. And Secret, I think they're ready to try and clear out this set of racks. LGG, they've got three heroes down, none with buyback available. Secret just slowly breaking away inside of the Dire here. And, and this is going to be a set of racks in winter at just 90 minutes in. Uh, they can just go back and re take the rush after this if they want to, but they're gonna get S4 skewered in and Glimmer Cape. <laughs> just glimmers it out. That's Zhao it's in if you can find anything, catch anyone out here with the Light Strike Array. Uh, Cassie's gonna get thrown in from the low ground. Secret, they might be ready to go back into this one with the Malefus on Sasila. There's gonna be the Stutterboy, just get four staffed away here. The Tiny's gonna be okay for the time being. But LGD just having a real nightmare trying to fight into Secret. Just, just the amount the Secret's got. You know, Ogre Club, Guardian Greaves on your Enigma, Witch Doctor. He's only about 750 gold away from his Aghanim Scepter, Kuroki. And I don't know, just items left. Crimson Guard on S4. Zai, what's he doing? He's got himself a four staff and an urn. And uh, of course, finally, RTZ with the Glimmer Cape. 60 Bloodstone charges. Boost of travel, 3.2k gold. The man's a little bit rich. Oh, indeed, they're trying to make something happen here, but Zai's going to be there with a the hookshot onto Yao, trying to stop this from happening, and maybe the side of Secret can turn this one around, indeed, with the split up onto good old Jao and the Spirit Breaker. S4 popping the BKB, trying to go straight in onto the eye, bring him down before he can relocate back out of there, and he will go down. And now S4, he's just going to look to clean up here, he wants to try and find Yao as well. Yao with the ultimate here, bashing S4 back, but S4 trying to chase this one down, will find the goods connect, and should be able to pick this one off. Oh, no, the skewer from maybe, bringing S4 away, the up as well, locking him down. Yao turning up as well with the light strike right onto the two of them. They do look good to play down at can they find S4 as well. He's just too tanky. S4, he wants to keep trying to fight into this one. Zai trying to chase it down as well. Zhao will find a light track ray onto S4. Now turning around with the toss onto the Bristleback. They do bring down S4. That's a big kill there for Zyla. Getting the kill onto the Bristleback. And maybe they can find even more here. Kuroki is all alone here on the secret shop. Tries to buy up. But he does still end up going down here. So all things said and done. LGD catching secret a little bit off guard there. Yeah, and they had to expand one buyback on the IO, but that was like the first time they got a really good combination of the RP into the Light Strike away, which, which we were talking about missing for the first part of the game. They didn't really connect into too much, and that was a really good connection. RP into Light Strike away and Avalanche, and, and the, even the Spirit Breaker charge as well on the three heroes. Indeed, LGG still proving that they can. Yeah, yeah, but give it, it, a was, bit of a fight. it was without a Black Hole. Secret didn't have yes. Black Hole, so they can't really retaliate there, so... That was with one big spell down. And the issue as well being that Puppy at the moment, 2.5k on top of his Ogre Club. He's he's almost certainly going to have the BKB up for the next team fight with his Black Hole. And in terms of cancelling, well, cancelling, I guess they've got the RP and uh, the Bashes from Spirit Breaker. 
And but, the toss. Uh, both. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so I guess, yeah, and the toss as well. Oh, that's highly unlikely, though. <laughs> yeah, you've got to get yourself close and personal and hope that the RNG pays off indeed. So, yeah, all, the, all the things, it's quite a nice game for Enigma. You can certainly see why Secret picked it up this match. Yeah, and it was also the fact that LGD played really well that fight. Otherwise, yeah. even without the black hole, Secret should still be able to take the fight considering the lead they have. Indeed, I mean, we saw S4 just going to hammer that fight as well with the BKB on top of the Crimson Guard. They did manage to kill him, of course, but proven very hard to bring down. Shiva's Guard's going to be the item of choice here for Artsy on top of the Bloodstone. He's got himself the recipe and he's nearly got enough money for that Mystic Staff as well. And how's Silar doing? Well, he has got the Agonims and he's got 2.5k on top as well. So things looking up for the side of LGD. I'm surprised that he actually got in Shiva's guard though. I still think he's a little too squishy because if you talk about what LGD has the most mm -hmm. damage right now, it's everything is spell. Yeah, you have the Glimmer Cape, but if you get disabled and you can't get Glimmer Cape off, you have still a good chance to die from full to zero if you're the Lash, if they chain their spells correctly. Oh, S4. He's, he's going to find maybe here, and there's oh, well, oh, easy coming in as well with the Shiva's Guard. We'll find the Snow onto Silar, throwing the Avalanche out onto S4. There's going to be the Lightning Storm onto Silar. He's being tethered up and will be relocated out here by the IO. They will be able to keep the Tiny safe here, yeah. but of course, it, I don't think they bring the Tiny back into this one. I mean, do, do you think, can LGD try and fight into this? No, they are not going to try and fight for no. sure. They're going to get out. Indeed, MMY will be the sacrificial lamb there for the team. Puppy able to clean that one up indeed. I mean, Roshan's up. We haven't really seen any side try and contest it. Do you think this is the time for Secret to go for it, or are they going to try and leave it for now? Yeah, they have double damage plus the ghoul, yeah. so it's the best time to go for right now. And they can't really push any lanes. If you look at the lane positioning, none of the creep wave is near tower, so they can't get objectives. So Roshan is the next best thing for them. But they are up against the RP, though. This could be dangerous for them if they get a good RP. Yeah, this is the question, isn't it? If uh, if maybe can do something big here with the place. It's getting low, and well, he's actually going to blink down because there's been a bit of a distraction caused by Zai, but I think he's going to be happy losing his life there. I think that was a bit of a, a kind of a bait just to pull LGD away from the pit because that did, of course, allow Secret to find Roshan and get the Aegis onto Arts easy. Yeah, that was, I think, an important play that the Clockwork should have, that he needs to give vision to his team because they can't place a high ground ward in the normal spot there. So they, they have no vision on the right side of the area, so he wanted to give vision to his team to make sure no one gets RP and skewed out of the Roche pit. That could potentially mean they lose the fight there. So it was a worthy sacrifice for the Clockwork, and I would say something they needed to do. Indeed, indeed, now with this next bit of fighting going on here on top lane. Silar, he's caught all on his own with the Death Ward laid down as well. He will be four staff back and a very nice save there from the side of LGD, bringing the Tiny out of that one. But he still looks to be too great, but of course Enigma here, Puppy, does still have that Black Hole available for the next fight. And uh, the side of Secret, they might be ready to go aggressive now with that Aegis on them. Oh, RP. Oh, indeed, they've caught S4 out, and they get, that's a very nice pickup for LGD. I mean, Secret need to be careful about throwing these kills away, because oh, they might find hit. more. Yeah, look at this, indeed, trying to cut off Zai. Zai will be able to get the cogs out. Gets himself four staffed up to the high ground. Puppy here with the Malefice onto Yao. Can the side of Secret find this one? There's going to be a buyback from S4. Lightning Storm's not coming out to him. He tethers himself across, and he will go down. Puppy pops down the black hole, which will catch out Yao on the sidelines. They've found two, and Zai now hooks on again. They want to find more. Xiao is the target. Will be able to get himself out of the cog. Here. There's going to be a Light Strike Array coming down onto Zai. RTZ moving in, looking for the stun. Won't be able to find it. Zyla just tossing the creeps back onto Puppy. Avalanche onto RTZ, maybe. He goes forward, gets a skew onto Puppy, bringing him right into the base. Puppy gets the Malefice out onto Zyla. There's going to be a Crimson Guard popped by the side of Secret. Now the charge from Yao will be cancelled. He doesn't want to sh run straight into this one. The fortifications come out from the side of LGD. Can they find anything else here? Maybe he's looking for some kind of action. Has got the skewer for 15 seconds. Lightning Storm just being spammed out from RTZ, keeping the side of LGD away. It looks like they will lose this three into the mid lane and secret where well, they're ready to start to pressure on to the racks here as well of course arts easy worth noting still has that ages for this fight there's going to be the never strike on to arts easy but the death has been laid down for the low ground and look at it go tiny goes down they lose the spirit breaker as well tiny will buy back straight away but with the bkb bot by s4 secret will be ready to continue to go ham onto these racks maybe looking for a pick off here with the skewer isn't going to find anyone they've lost the range racks in the mid lane they're going to lose the melee racks as well here and well the question is the secret want to keep fighting here s4 is still on full health he's just going to head down to the bottom lane look to take this tier two almost certainly with the side of secret and uh, lgd even though they're giving us these good fights winter it's just not enough at the end of the day in secret they're just doing so much damage 27 minutes into the structures yeah but they were defending the base not not like a team that is so far behind though they still managed yes, to yeah. get good fights and good pickoffs and force a couple of buybacks but
I have a sort with of secret. The edges, uh. With the edges on RTZ, I think this is going to be very hard for them because they, they, I don't think they have any more buybacks, right? They uh, let's have a look at the buyback status. Uh, the side of LGT, no, yeah, no, they don't. Uh, apart from Magnus. Some... Magnus can buy back, that's it though. Yeah, but if you drop your RP, basically, yeah. you're not too useful <laughs> even if you buy back. <laughs> this is true, yeah. And yeah, talking about the RP, he has got it available here. And, well, maybe secret, you know, they kind of realize this. They don't want to push straight up into it for the time being. They're playing a bit chill. Zai, he's going to get charged here, but gets the cogs out, forcing Yao to back himself out of that one. But LGD, they do have to relocate. So if they can find a successful charge into someone, they could look to try and follow it up here. But it's, it's going to be fairly hard, ca hard catching out the side of Secret. I mean, looking at the difference down the graph, it's yeah. up to 12k and uh, over 20,000. They, they just need to send like the latch on in front and make sure no one else gets caught by the RPA because he's the one having the Aegis. So that's like the the way they can take their last risk. Oh, look at this. Zai wants to go straight in. Hookshot up to the high ground. RTZ with the Sheaf has gone onto Xiaowe as Zyla finding the stun as well onto the Lina. Lina will be able to get herself out there with the help of MMY, but Secret just forcing LGD right back so they can get some damage done to the tower. Yao will find the ultimate there onto Puppy. Charges through onto Zai, but the Mokai Grease have been popped by Puppy, giving us that bonus heal indeed. Zyla and the Lunar Laguna Blade will be able to bring down Kuroki. So that's a big kill there for the side of LGD, but they do lose the eye. Because hang on, what's RTZ doing? Oh, he's just working around the back lines here, trying to find the pickoffs. Xiao will be able to force some stealths down to the Low ground. The fight continuing here by the bottom lane. Maybe finding the skewer, but S4 and Puppy both popping the BKBs. Puppy's got the black hole in 12 seconds, but he might not even need it. They've already taken down the Tiny in the IO. They're looking for Yao here as well. Light strike away from Jao. It will hold back both Puppy and Arteezy, but it's just creating space for Secret to mega creep the side of LGD. With 29 minutes in, there's going to be <laughs> Puppy. Just, uh, I think I think he thinks it's over there. And it is indeed. GG is called by the side of LGD. And well, Secret, they got their foot in the door from the start they managed to get their lead and did a lot with it i've got to be honest though winter as you were saying there was a couple of blunders a few mess ups where it looked like the side of lgd were still able to fight even though they were quite far behind but i don't know man what what, what have you got to say about